What up, tribe? It's your girl, Raji, and I'd like to welcome you to my podcast, The Kush Concierge, Something for the People, where the evolved hustler comes to learn more about hoodoo, tarot, culture, astrology, and a little bit of everything in between. So, I hope you guys are having an amazing rising, a great Monday rising, and um, I hope you guys had a great day yesterday as well. If you didn't get a chance to check out the full live reading podcast, it is up. The full version as well as the extended versions have been uploaded uh, for visuals as well for you guys to review. So check it out. Take it in. Check it out. Take it in. Um, Now, today, again, the... Today, the moon is first quarter in Scorpio, so Mondays is very powerful, okay? So, you want to focus on getting messages from spirit. You want to focus on doing fertility workings. Um, Love workings are good for today. Um, Traveler charms are good to be made today. You also want to anoint and cleanse your tools as well as your homes today um and if you are into meditation yoga stretching being that it's so powerful a day to speak with spirit and because again we got first quarter in scorpio so you know if any day you want to check out what's going on around you and what the next move is for the next five days today is going to be that good day to do that now, um, I do have some openings for intuitive sessions, so if you guys need one, definitely click the link in my bio, and I'll be more than happy to be of service to you today. Um, so when you think of first quarter moons, think of external attraction, beginnings, calling, let back lost things, drawing things in, okay? So you want to consider the element of that when you consider. Now, Scorpio... Is a very deep zodiac sign. Scorpio rules the genitals. It's uh, good for research, investigation, psychic development, getting divination, seduction, lust, and acquiring antiques. So, like, what better day, right? What better day than today? Honestly, if you're going to inquire about something, if you're going to go to spirit or your elevated ancestors, um, so I am very interested to see what we come up with today, y'all. I'm super interested. When I, when I say what we come up with, I mean for the readings. I, I'm interested to see what we come up with. So let me see, let me see, let me see now. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Now, important astrology for today is, because it's the 17th, so let's go here. Oh, by the way, before I get started, thank you guys for all the new subscribers, and thank you for the OGs for continuing to stick by your girl and patronize and assist me. I appreciate y'all so much. I let let y'all know I'm grateful for y'all every single day. You guys are amazing. Mm, Demas has entered cancer, so now we're there. That started yesterday. Mercury is going square into, uh, it's Gem- in Gemini, it's going square to Neptune and Pisces. So you got some confusion. So this is not a time, baby, as they say in here, to be trusted what you see. People are being very deceptive right now, or they may be inclined to be deceptive. So watch yourself. Always trust spirit and what information is coming from that source. Um, you know, do yourself the the due diligence of seeing what really is going on. Mercury is entering Cancer, so you know, make sure you're handling your business. Um, also protecting your peace. You know, Cancer is the hermit in Tarot. Mercury in Cancer is conjunct Venus in Cancer, so this is good for relationships. Um, you are going to find yourself, you know, being able to relate to your lover. Okay. So get into your feels, but also, you know, keep it cute. That's how I see it. Let's see what's going on. Okay. We got that first quarter moon. We still got some retrogrades going on. The nodes and Pluto. Cancer is very prevalent today, but y'all know this week we go into cancer. The sun will enter cancer. All right, so the sun in Gemini is trining the moon first quarter in Scorpio. 
So tap in. And where my loose sheet is? I don't know. I gotta keep it. Keep it pee. I'm gonna write these down one day, y'all. Y'all should see my way. We be talking about these all the time. But I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> I feel like a mad scientist. 11 or what as I say that. I am on my way. New beginnings. I like that. Period. So, yeah. So, the sun in Gemini is trining the moon in Scorpio. So, things are alert, focused, digging deep, finger things out, like really seeing what it is, what's up. Then you got the sun in Gemini conjuncting Mercury um, in Cancer as well as... Um, Conjuncting Venus in Gemini. Oh no, Venus in Cancer too. Oh snap, y'all, my bad. So, ooh, it's the great switch up. I kind, I'm into it. I'm into it. We still got quite a few squares, but it's like shifting somewhat. So, what we finna? I mean, we'll get confirmation on that in a minute. Then you got the Sun in Gemini squaring Saturn. In Pisces, and that's interesting because obviously the deep dive, the true feels are coming up, and you might see some some real colors right about now, or you've been seeing it because it's been like this for the past couple of days. Then you got the Sun squaring Neptune in Pisces as well. So again, deep feelings, shit coming up. People having problems with trusting their intuition, stepping out of illusions and delusions still. So we wavering. So today is the best day to say, hey, spirit, is this right for me? Is this what I should be doing? You know what I'm saying? Um, then we have. Hold on. Let's see. Then we have the moon trining Mercury and Venus in Cancer. So digging deep, figuring out your feelings especially when it comes to home and family, are going to be supported. They're getting along today. It's opposing Mars, though, at one degree. So eh, the planet of action, the planet of war, what you find you might not like. That's what they tell me. They hostile towards each other. Like somebody want to deal with it. Others like, nah, not so much. You know, the conflict has arisen. The, the water has come to a rolling boil, as they say in cooking. The moon is King Coots in Jupiter at zero degrees. So you have the free will as well as the willpower to expand and grow. Um, get more information if you want it. It's there for you. It is squaring Pluto in Aquarius retrograde. So you are being forced to kind of take a look and see like what needs to change, what was stopping you. It's like a review season for the pop quiz, really and truly. Mercury is in conjunction with Venus at zero degrees and it is square Neptune at zero degrees. So a lot of feelings, a lot of quick action um, are being kind of maneuvered here. Now that Mercury and Venus conjuncting is like harmonious, like I talked about, because that's a zero degree. So it's feeling lovey dovey right now. But Mercury is squaring Neptune. So what you find you might not like, you know, or so like I said, people not want to really follow their intuition right now. Then you have the let me see here. Venus, King Coos, Pluto in Aquarius retrograde. So you have the opportunity to really just push forward. Love on yourself, love on your family. Um, you know, you have the power to change your 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 home situation. You have the power to change your re close relationships. Um and the things that you're committing to and deciding that you're going to do. Um, now, when, like I said, when you consider cancer, again, most people think homes, things that are close to you, um, agreements, family, weddings. So, again, intimate things, things you might not necessarily want every single person around you privy to. You have the power to shift that shit and change it in what you need to maneuver so it can work well for you. So if anything in your home life is not feasible to you today, 
you know, you can push through that. Now, let's see. We also have um, Mars is still square Pluto, but at four degrees. So it's a lot of love and war today. Possibly issues in the home. Jupiter is trining Pluto. Neptune is sextile Pluto. Lilith is still busy, but not no more busy than the moon and the sun today. Uh, exposing and showing and what you need to do to get better subconsciously and out on the forefront. Um, Lilith and Virgo is telling you to tighten up with what you're being shown and what you feel like you know, because those are at one degree. They're squaring. It is also squaring Venus. So home, love, relationships are being examined, are being taken care of. Then you got opposing Neptune, which we already know what time it is with that. Then you got Lilith and Virgo trining Pluto in Aquarius. And Chiron is sextile the sun. So what's being exposed, the things that you need to heal to get to your higher self is going to move you forward to new beginnings. Now, the nodes... The nodes are not, don't have anything transiting them today, according to this. So that's interesting. That's interesting. That's my first time seeing that look like that. The nodes are usually always active. Oh, that's interesting. So y'all know the North Node is your destiny, your purpose, your light. The South Node is destiny, karma, shadow work, past life. So for whatever reason, that's not being taken into account today. It is shifted. So, what you see is what you get. Hmm. You damn sure about to find out. We show sure about to find out. Let me clear the cards, y'all. And see what's going on. If y'all been looking for me on TikTok, you know, I'm coming today. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming today, y'all. Like, for real. Because, well. Mm-hmm. I don't think for a second I'm like very I'm here, but baby, I be having life too, honey. I be having life too. I be like, woo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I at least try to make sure I got the the actual reading done. So today I'm gonna tap in after I get through with my personals. I'm definitely going to take in. And I'm going to put the visuals up for y'all to see as well. But I mean, like, possibly going live later and stuff. Because I know yesterday I didn't get a chance to go live. So, I got to come back. I'm loving you guys. Give y'all some love. Try to talk type things. And maybe I'll have a little bit more to contribute to the tribe talk because today i'm a little i'm coming right for it we getting right into it so i'll probably tap back in for some tribe talk later on i'm getting a little shuffle on what we tribe talking right now honestly. <laughs> i just think a lot of shit's coming out like people just People can't hide themselves no more. And yesterday, the rumor was centered around like secrets, exposure, people's true feelings are coming to light. And that's like a big deal, honey. That's a big deal these days. You don't want to be dealing with no, no negative energy. You don't have to. All right. So let's get into it. Okay, right, Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you, Papa, for opening the roads for me and the collective tribe members. Thank you for blessing and protecting and covering us as we go on this journey to get these guidance and this information that we need moving forward. We most definitely <clears throat> are grateful and, you know, we want to just thank you. Thank you so much for continuing to be be a beacon of hope for us and continuing to show us what we need at the end of the day so let's see let's see let's see pair with me just a second
Okay. Let's see what the collective has. Let's see what we got cooking, y'all. Thank you for the gift. We don't even use the gift. We love it. I got a little distracted. Sorry, y'all. We love it. We definitely honor it. We respect it. Let's see what's good. All right, y'all. So, looks like you got Black Herman here. Something from the past in the upright. The Magician. We got present a tower here in the upright, though. So, you know, it's happening. You read me? Tell me about the collective. Three of knives in the reverse. Ooh. <laughs> Near future. Eight of baskets in the reverse. Ooh. Mother of baskets in the reverse. Let's see what's going on, because this is interesting. So, right off top, y'all, we got Gemini. We got some fire. Maybe seeing things for what it is. A loss, a betrayal, uh, bad habits, returning to things that don't serve you. Uh, somebody's in their feelings, in their emotions right now. Mother baskets, a feminine mother figure. Water sign energy. Okay, let's see. Tell me what's going on with these three of knives in the reverse spirit. So, someone is in the collective is experiencing some sort of loss. Somebody's released something here. Uh, four of coins in the reverse. Tell me more. Um, and justice is being had. Dr. Buzzer came out in the upright. So, after some sort of betrayal, some sort of loss, uh... Justice is being served to the collective, okay? Because I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, you be wanting to be on the good fleet. I mean, I know we ain't perfect, y'all. You know, we all got our flaws. And I make sure that people know that, you know? Like, I have my moments where I have to be like, okay, spirit, what is it that I need to work on? So, always be in that, like, type of refining energy. Because people try to play you and be like, oh, you think you're perfect. No, I don't think I'm perfect. But please teach me how to fix it. Shit. Okay. But anyway, there was some sort of betrayal, some sort of heartbreak. You lost some stuff, and now you're receiving your justice for it. Libra energy. Tell me about the eight of baskets in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're healing after walking away from something that just wasn't serving you. That eight of baskets over the five of baskets, like, you took a loss. You took a significant loss in your life, um... You know, <laughs> you took some sort of loss and now you are moving on. You're recovering. You're allowing yourself to heal from that situation. Tell me about the mother of baskets in reverse. Yeah, something that wasn't it. You weren't as you were digging deep. Someone's digging deep into their emotions. Could be about a partnership or some sort of progress. And she wasn't going nowhere though. It's two of sticks in reverse. So now you're more focused, um, daughter of coins in the upright. So if you not, you need to. <laughs> you walking away, you catching hold of your emotions, remembering to stay committed, remembering to do what you are trying to do is going to serve you well right now. Like, don't let your emotions, your feelings stop your progress. That's what I get from that. Don't allow what happened to you to hold you back. Move on. You know? Things happen. You experience this tower. Things happen. Now you're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm a warrior. Period. I love to see it. Tell me about the big house, though. What, what was the tower? Yeah. You, there was some sort of tower, six of knives in the reverse because somebody was like, mm, you returned to something. That didn't serve you. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. So now that that's ended, <laughs> now that that's ended, you are now going to be moving towards the six of sticks in the upright. So now you finna have a victory after uh, some shit burned down. Like I said, the tower isn't always bad. You know what I'm saying? The tower isn't always bad. 
maybe you couldn't see like I say, like you, you don't, you couldn't see the victory. You couldn't see the, the come up, you know, in the loss. It was like, all I see is loss basically, you know, but spirit is saying, this is a victory for you. Mm -hmm. You at the tip. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. That's why I like doing these live reads because y'all be catching that shit off the dome. Okay. So six of sticks in the upright confirmed by the 10 of coins. Yeah. You you just got to let go of thinking of that, this as like a negative thing. This is not a negative thing. This tower is a negative. You're stepping back into your power. You know what I'm saying? This tower is not negative. You're going to receive justice. You are healing. You're moving on. Um, and, you know, you just need to stay committed to healing and your emotions and making progress. You know, don't allow your feelings to slow you down. Hell yeah. Four of baskets in the other right indicates the end of stagnation. Like, mm -mm. you out your feels, baby. You ain't. Mm -mm. Yup. Period. Okay. Love to see you. I had to get a little confirmation. Yeah. You ain't worried about that shit no more, man. You. Mm -mm. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Now. Yeah, it's almost like you step back into your power. For real, for real. Three, four. Hmm. You step back. It was like, even though you took a loss, you came back, like, you coming back strong. Spirit just wants you to stay committed and keep going. Like, don't give up. Mm-hmm. Don't give up. Keep going, man. Keep going. Tell me more about this uh, Black Herman in the upright. Yes, there was an imbalance of power here or magic. Somebody caused an imbalance. Tell me about the Father says in reverse. Yeah, somebody didn't want some sort of cycle to end um, a period of imbalance for you. Tell me. Yeah, and that was some sort of like fucking like two of knives maybe you didn't see that maybe like that's a challenge that you had to overcome to get your power back this sagittarius or gemini energy was trying to keep a cycle going what cycle were they trying to keep going spirit mm, dr grant in reverse um virgo um yeah oh yeah y'all know i said something wrong earlier i think but I'm going to retreat because Virgo is the hermit. My bad. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. Retract. Retract. Um, Dr. Grant in reverse. So something was revealed. Wait. Hmm. It came out. They wanted something to keep happening. They, you had to overcome a challenge, like, of being the mother of coins in reverse. You were just giving too much. And you had to end these partnerships and these relationships mm -hmm. yeah some bad decisions possibly with the father of coins in reverse maybe a lack of discipline too tell me more yeah you you did again five and nine so that's again overcoming challenges fighting <laughs> mm -hmm. you realize some shit Real bad. You made some sort of decision. Because, again, things were out of balance. Things were continuing to, like, go on, you know? So, you had to step back into your power. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, you had to be firm. Let's see what the... Mm, let's see what the gods have to say yeah say what you mean to me what you say man don't allow nobody to shift your your time like right now i think i told y'all yesterday like your intuition is gonna be spot on so you know don't don't let nobody play in your face you know what you know you see what you see especially today it's Especially today, for sure. These last past couple of days have just been very revealing. So don't second guess your intuition about situations. Like when you ask spirit and spirit show you a spirit start removing, don't don't trip, man. Don't trip. Why are you looking back? <laughs> Cause 
it could get it could get crucial. It could get crucial. Don't self sabotage. You worrying is gonna cause some sort of self sabotage. So don't get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. All right, guys. Let's see what y'all got for us. Tell me about this past energy. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You're being granted a fresh start, an air of healing, just happiness. Like spirit, like she, you healing. You said, "I, right, I'm here. I'm ready." You know, you say you call your power back. You, you say, mm -mm, no more. Tell me about the Ten of Coins. Yeah, you're now two of coins in the upright. You are getting your priorities straight. You are doing what you need to do. Tell me about the Dr. Pleasure. Oh, we got the Magician, Gemini Energy. Mm -hmm. Power, stepping back. One. A lot of ones. One. One, four, three. Love. You love yourself. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Tell me about the five of baskets in the near future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you... There's some sort of collaboration Um, here. You're moving on. Tell me about that three of pentacles again. Yeah, you, you said knight of swords in reverse. So you you ain't going towards something no more. You're no longer even trying to collaborate with these people up to three parties. Tell me more. Yo, Ace of Wands in the all right. <laughs> you taking action, baby. Or somebody will stop from coming towards you. Or you stop going towards the phone. Okay, I'll come back to that. Tell me about the daughter of coins. Then we got your page of swords. Yeah, you made some sort of quick decision here. Yeah, you decided on something very quickly without you saying, mm -mm. tell me about the page of swords. Yeah, you took, you decided not to continue to move forward with something. You stopped be, giving emotion to something. Knight of Cups in reverse. Wait, yeah, you ended some sort of cycle here. Ooh, some sort of cycle ended. You said, no, I'm not going to continue to give out my cup of love. I'm not going to continue to give more than I receive. I know that's right. Hell no. Back of the dead, King of Cups in the other right. Yeah, you've gotten control of your emotions. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Masculine. You, you, you control, period. <laughs> Shout out to Janet. Janet Jason might be significant. Virgo significant. You know, she a Virgo son anyway. Yeah. You took some, some sort of action. Like, you said, no. Nah. We not even gonna keep moving like that. Period. You stopped. You stopped moving reckless. You took some sort of give. You said, mm -mm. nope. So now you're no longer thinking. Um, you're no longer losing. Fuck that. Justice. Any magic? Tell me about this magician. Mm hmm. Somebody did something that broke your heart. Tell me more. Yeah. They wanted to cause trauma to you. These people, they didn't want you to have stability. Nine of cups in reverse. Yeah. They they saw that you were in this nine of <clears throat> pentacles energy. And they ain't like that shit. Yeah. Somebody didn't consider something. Yeah. They wouldn't even. They didn't want you to even think. They didn't want to consider, you know, like, oh, I can have a new start. Oh, I can have a good life. Like, yo, this was a betrayal. Mm -mm. Somebody wasn't thinking about having no happy, stable life with you. This was a betrayal. Ten of swords. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they was trying to take from you for material gain. Up to three people. Mm -hmm. These people were not right. Yeah, tell me about the Ace of Wands again. Yeah, Spirit saying you're moving forward. You're no longer wasting your energy, and don't regret this. Five of Cups in reverse. You don't have no regrets. Yeah, these people were trying to take your strength, man. You regretting something? You wasting your energy is gonna take your strength, Leo. Yeah, Spirit wants you to Knight of Pentacles. Keep moving forward with your goals. Keep trying. Keep doing what you gotta do, man. Spirit said no. No more. The cycle is ended of you being in this Knight of Cups and reverse energy. 
Yup. Yup. You did what was right. You took some sort of quick, you know, you made a quick decision to stop going towards something. You chose to end a cycle. Tell me about it. Yeah, and you chose to page your cups. You moved towards loving yourself. Mm -mm. I love it. Tell me about the betrayal. There was a betrayal possibly from a Leo here. You, Some betrayal was highlighted more. Yeah, King of Wands in the reverse. Somebody was definitely controlling, manipulating, just doing way too much. Yeah, they wanted you to be helpless. They didn't want you to have nothing. The Empress in reverse. Yeah, they wanted to keep you in this Queen of Cups in reverse energy. Mm -hmm. And keep you broken. Yeah, this Nine of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this this was revealed to you. You saw these. Yep. Yeah, so now you found balance, though. Temperance here. Sagittarius and Leo could be involved. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to get on up out of that energy. Period. For real. <laughs> Let's see what the oracle is going to These folk tripping. They going to lock their damn minds. Some of y'all done lost y'all minds. Oh, Lord. Shout out to Kilo. <laughs> you don't know nothing about Kilo Ali. Baby, you need to check him out. From the 90s and the late. 80s. It was a good time. Mid 90s, maybe. Mm -hmm. Kilo Ali. Uh, anyway, Oracles, tell me about these fields. What's going on with these fields? Ace of Cups. Yeah, you you realize something isn't sacred, and that's no longer a secret. People didn't hold you in the same regard that you held them in. Yeah, so you decided to be, you know, you were kind to people. Now you need to be kind to yourself. People didn't, like, they took advantage of your kindness. That's what I get. These people took advantage of your kindness. Tell me about the two of coins. Yeah, you balancing things out. You are loving yourself now, presently. Mm -hmm. You're now going to be able to create something. Now you can create now you can create. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's, you know, something. There's some trickery here with. Yeah, somebody going to try to trick you into collaborating with them. And that's not, you know, it's not going to be a secret that how these people cut me. Don't trust them. Trust in reverse. Continue to move forward. Continue to go after what you want. Because these people are just hunting. Yeah, they want, somebody wants to communicate yeah stay wise stay your power keep your power to yourself baby don't give your power out no more we got no more power to give stay in your power tell me about the page of cups three 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 on the time stamp yeah something's not getting a rebirth you you may have decided not to rebirth something yeah because it was keeping you trapped freedom in reverse and you you you've chosen to grow yeah you ain't rebirthing nothing that's going to hold you back. Spirit says growth. Yeah, the back of the day, cancer, care. Defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? Defend what you care about. Scorpio and cancer. Hey, y'all know. 33, 33, y'all. Yeah, because somebody want to take your strength. And they're going to try to con you out of it. But you've adapted. You can protect yourself. You feel me? Don't play no games with the eggs. Because they don't have no peace. Spirit says don't fear. Stay confident. You know? These people can't provide you, um, your family. No, don't worry about your family or whatever trying to come around. Transform. Yeah, you may have lacked determination, but now you've changed. Follow your instincts and heal. Yeah, something, somebody wants to keep something going, though. Don't forget to live. Stay courageous. Believe in yourself. And don't say no bad deals, baby. I'm going to leave that deal. Let me look the back of the deck over here, you guys. Yeah, there's the end of stagnation, though, with the Hoodoo Tarot deep. Yeah, you ended something because you called judgment and you chose to not go towards something. The Daughter of Sticks, Three of um Cups, you released some sort of collaboration. You moved away from it because you now want to work on your plans and your goals. Eight of Coins. Yeah, you're considering the possibility of what's to come for you at this particular moment in life, you know? Congratulations. You know? Yeah, somebody was definitely trying to deceive. We got some uh, ace and knives, trying to throw things off balance. Could have been a Leo. Leo's strong here today. Um, Yeah, they were trying to hide something. 
Because that big mama, the son is in reverse in the back. Yeah. They were trying to hide something. Yeah. This person was deeply considering some shit. Yeah. Betraying. Being stubborn. Their thoughts. They stayed in their head. Negative thinking about investments. Um, what else? Yeah. This person, we have the Ace of Coins and the Two of Baskets. Yeah, this was somebody. Yeah, they're loyal to something. They're loyal to other things. Yeah, they didn't make the right decisions, though. So now, there's a lot of negativity surrounding this person because they were reckless within their moves. And they got some attachments on them, baby. Miss Robinson, I'm going to leave that deal. <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there. And that is my word, you guys. Like, you're balancing yourselves out through love, through happiness, you know. You're going to create a new life after a tower. You're going to step into your power and you're going to continue to grow. Like, keep it moving. And that's just what it is. Like, this train going to keep on rolling, baby. Period. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. I am going to post the visuals. I pray you someone got something out of this and you guys enjoyed the reading today. Again, if this message resonates, don't forget to follow, like, share, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend. You never know who this can help, you know? Um, and every little bit helps. I love you guys. And I will be posting the visuals as well. So if you want to see the full readings, tap in and subscribe. Um, turn on your notifications for my YouTube. And if you want to see the extended readings, tap into the um tap into the Patreon. There are resources there and um shameless plug for the TikTok as well. Um 11.33, as I say, is on the time stamp. Uh, tap into TikTok for the multiple readings as well as the... As well as the daily elemental reading. So, every space get a little bit something different. Um, I'm probably going to definitely double down today because, like I said, yesterday was interesting. So... Turn on your notifications. <laughs> okay, you guys. I love you guys. And yes, we'll chat soon. Bye.